Multi-rater, 360 degree feedback. Individual level by Lauren Hernandez. Multi-rater feedback can be used for many purposes. To make general personnel decisions, such as promotions and terminations, to identify training and develop needs, pinpointing employee skills and competencies that are currently inadequate, but for programs that can be developed, and to be used as a criterion against which selection and development programs are validated, to contribute to worker satisfaction because they believe that their opinions are being heard and to improve organizational culture or climate. These features include clear purpose and communication, Involvement in multi-rater feedback must be voluntary on the part of raters and ratees and the source of specific feedback must be kept anonymous. Do not rely on the multi-rater feedback instrument alone to accomplish its purpose. Again, a systemic perspective is necessary. Dialogue, both one-on-one -on -one and group has been identified as one useful adjunct to the instrument itself. Another useful supplement is documentation. These add-ons become processes for triangulation. Multi-rater feedback can be used as a self-evaluation along with evaluation by peers, subordinates, supervisors, and customers. These evaluations are conducted by customized or standardized instruments, email input, or in-person interviews. Strengths include improving employee performance, accuracy of evaluations, and perception of fairness. Increasing the participants' perception of fairness is a noble goal. Research shows that multi-rater reviews enhance the perception of fairness from employees towards a performance review process. And more perceived fairness builds trust increases commitment to the organization, and enhances job satisfaction. Weaknesses include focusing on employee weaknesses, incorrect feedback, and emotional harm. One of the main risks singled out by research is that the feedback re received leads reviewee to question the image they have of themselves. According to them, this can significantly worsen their ability to grow or improve performance based on feedback received. If the feedback focuses attention on the self-image of the assessed, whether it is personal or because it is closely related to the self-image held by the assessee, the subsequent performance of the assessed person tends to suffer. Scenario number one, manager performance review. And I'm in a multi-rater feedback for a manager, the raters would include the president or CEO of the company, other managers within the department, and the employees who work directly for this manager. The assessments are made anonymous and turned into the manager to look over the results along with his or her supervisor. Scenario number two, in a multi-rater feedback for an employee, 
The Raiders would include their direct manager, other employees that they work closely with in their department, and the customers. The assessments are made anonymous and turned into the employee and manager to look at.